Canada, it's not just for vegans anymore. Standing at the door, I'm on the way. A million things, I guess, that I should say. In America's hat since 1867. And speaking of hats, I think you should bring one because in the winter it's cold and in the summer it's hot. And in those in between seasons it's raining. So bring a darn hat because Canada loves to be America's hat. Our topic today is the Great White North because we got like lots of mail, eh? So you want to come to Canada, whether you're traveling to Alaska through Canada or you're just coming to Canada to visit friends, family, relatives, or just do it as a tourist. There's a few things you need to keep in mind and things that you're not gonna necessarily read in a travel magazine of things you should take care of before you leave wherever country you're coming from and I assume most people that are gonna watch this video are coming from the United States, Australia, Germany, and the United Kingdom. And if you have respiratory breathing problems, Canada might not be for you because the air is too clean. It might just freak out your immune system. Now one of the things you're gonna to have to keep in mind that while Canada has free health care for its legal residents and citizens, you do not get that entitlement as a visitor. So you're gonna need travel medical insurance. Now depending on your age and pre-existing conditions and how long you're gonna be in Canada, it's not gonna to cost too much for say a two week trip. I would say 30 to $70, depending on the deductible you choose, and of course your gender and age. But it is peace of mind because, trust me, if you run up a medical bill in Canada, we will send you a bill, and we can get a judgment in your country to force you to pay. If you wish to avoid prosecution, I would advise that you comply with our language laws, which specifically prescribe that all signs be in both English and French. Canada's two official languages. It's just something to consider because a lot of people don't think about this. Us Canadians, we are afraid, a taboo, of getting a medical bill. So most Canadians, when we travel to the U.S., we carry a comprehensive policy. I carry a $10 million policy that covers me anywhere in the world with a zero deductible, and it will even pay for a private jet to fly me home. Ah! Now I think that's peace of mind for me when I'm in your country, whatever country that may be, and it can give you peace of mind while being in my country here in Canada. Now another thing that people fail to think about is car insurance. You must make sure that you have a minimum liability policy of at least $200,000 in every province except Quebec. Now I know there's a lot of minimum liability people out there in the U.S. of A. driving around with, uh, you know, whatever your minimum liability could be. It could be thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars. Not a lot of money. You need that because if you get pulled over and the police officer sees your insurance documents and you're not properly insured, that car is getting towed. It cannot be on the road. That's just the way it is, folks. It doesn't cost much to bump that liability up and have some underinsured motorist protection too, in case another underinsured person from another country hits you. Now Canada is not a country for everybody. So if you are filled with rage, politics, agenda, conspiracy, all sorts of crazy nonsense, Canada is not the country for you. Because we ain't got much time for that stuff. Now let's talk money. When you come to Canada and you use your credit card, most credit card companies are going to charge a 2.5% conversion fee on every purchase you make. So to avoid that, you can use your debit or your bank card. Now most machines at points of sale like Walmart or even banks require a chip card with a four digit pin. So you're going to need to get one of those cards from your bank before you leave so that you have no issues making a purchase and you don't get ripped off on that 2.5% conversion fee. That's over the official conversion. Now, the American dollar is stronger by about, I don't know, 23% at the moment. So that at least is one good bonus for you as an American. Now let's talk cell phones. 
your cell phone will work in Canada but how much you pay especially for data texting and roaming speaking of uh, texting just got a bang quit loving me people so when you're up in Canada you want to make sure you know how much you're being charged so that you don't come home to a big bill so what I recommend you do is call your cell phone provider and ask them what are the roaming rates to Canada what do I pay how much data do I get know before you go Canada is one of those insane places that really shouldn't exist we are the second largest country in the world and we are filled with just a whole lot of peaceful people not a lot of violence happens up here people are very like I said chill and uh, hey if you don't like that you should not come here now these are just a few things people forget to think about when they're planning a trip to Canada so I want to look out for you guys save you some money save you some hassle save you some inconvenience so think about a few of these issues that I've mentioned and have a great time see you up here stay safe keep close to the ground over and over. it's not